A man with no pride or low pride is easy prey in life. Thumbs up for a like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Shout out to every member of the Masculine Mercenaries. But jumping into this message of why men are not prideful. They choose not to be prideful. They think that the noble thing to be, the thing that makes you a good man, is to not have pride in yourself and this is part of the reason why so many men have negative experiences with women and men just negative experiences in life negative experiences with people because the prideful man is the man that you don't want to mess with the man that sees himself as highly valuable the man that values himself highly is the number one man you don't want to offend for their laws of power the prideful the arrogant man why is it that in the 40 laws of power it outright says you don't want to Prey on a man that's arrogant, a man that really values himself. Praying on that man isn't even worth it. What you think you may get out, out of that man, it's not even worth it. It's not even worth trying that man. It's not even worth mistreating that man. And why is that the case? And the reason why it's, it's the case is the prideful, more arrogant man, as they say, as they try to insult you for caring about yourself, about having a high level of value in yourself. The reason why you don't want to offend a man like that is because a man like that, as the book states, is going to be highly offended by you bringing bullshit to him. Highly offended. He can't believe that you would even think that that was okay. And see, this is why I, I'm encouraging men to be more prideful, to have pride. Because when you have pride, you care about yourself a lot. You care about yourself a lot. You don't accept anything and everything. And you take great offense to being offered lesser than your standard. You take offense to it. It is offensive to bring me what is below my standards and think that I'm supposed to be cool with it. It's offensive to me. And men that are more prideful, we often seek to deal with people from positions of strength. We will always try to avoid dealing with people from a position of weakness that is something that a man with pride will strive hard to never deal with anyone from a position of weakness anybody i don't deal with women i don't deal with men i don't deal with kids i don't deal with nobody from from a position of weakness i will try my damnedest to never be in a position where i have to be in a position of weakness and that's not to say that it will never happen but I'm a strive to never allow it to happen. And it is an extremely rare occurrence. I can't even think of a time that I dealt with people from a position of just straight up weakness. Because we know the downfall of not being in a position of strength. And many men have accepted this humble humility role. I'm a good man because I'm humble because I'm a nice guy, because I have humility. I'm a good dude. I'm a nice man. Please don't do nothing to me. And all you, all you have done to yourself is made yourself prey, easy prey. You have made yourself a soft target. 
without even realizing that you've put yourself in that position and see a man that has pride in himself, that really values himself, that, that truly values himself. It's not no pseudo pride. This man really cares about himself. He's an African bull elephant. He is too much of prey. He is too dangerous of a prey. He is too much game. He is too much to be worth messing with. He is too much to actually deal with if you your intentions are ill towards him. If you have ill intentions towards a prideful individual, it's really not worth you coming at that individual because you are not dealing with an individual that has embraced lesser than what he is willing to accept in life. You are not dealing with an individual that does not believe that he is great and deserves great things. You are dealing with an individual that truly believes that he is a high ranking individual in life. This individual believes this. And whether you believe it or not, that don't matter because they believe it. They believe in themselves to that degree. They believe in the value in themselves. And typically men that really care about themselves, they will do things to better themselves. They will do things to improve themselves. There are reasons why they care about themselves so much. And they strive to be in better positions. They strive to not allow themselves to be treated like a scrub in any circumstance. And if I'm ever treated like a scrub in any circumstance, if someone thinks that they can just be dismissive towards me, not value me, not value my agendas, I'm offended by it. And see, the man that embraces the humble humility role, the man that embraces not being prideful, the man that doesn't care about himself, that's the main man that is constantly in situations that are undesirable for him. This is the man that is constantly having nothing but negative experiences with women in the dating market, as far as relationships goes, as far as even friendships go among uh, other men, his interactions with other men, his interactions with women, the people that are part of his life, the man that is not prideful, that doesn't have pride in himself, he is the man that complains the most. And some of you guys that are real hesitant to adopt what I'm saying, you're very doubtful of what I'm saying, you're thinking in your mind, oh my God, this dude, arrogant about what, prideful about what, Nobody's gonna like you. You're not gonna get no, you're not gonna get no women being like that, man. You're not gonna get no women being like that. And these men aren't even honest within their own situation to admit that if you are a man that doesn't have pride in himself, that doesn't love himself, you already don't have no women being the way that you are. Women don't, women don't love a man that don't love himself. Women don't care about a man that don't care about himself. So those that are doubtful as to what I'm saying, you already know what your situation is if you're the opposite of me. If you're a man that don't value himself, that don't place a high value on himself, you know what your interactions have been with people. You already know what it is. So you can continue to reject what I'm saying if you won't. You could say, this fool don't know what he's talking about. Prideful about what? He ain't got nothing. Look at him. All right. We know your life and I know the lives of men that carry themselves and have the mindset of myself. A man that highly values himself would never find himself in a fraction of the situations 
that a man that doesn't care about himself at all will find himself in. The man that sees himself as secondary in life is the man that's gonna get nothing but secondary shit in life. So continue to be humble and have humility and be perceived as a good man and be liked by some people. Yes, you may be more liked, but I guarantee you will be less respected because a weak man is never respected is rarely respected. Being humble and embracing that to your own destruction, to your own detriment, to the point where it hurts you, people, people see how you perceive yourself. People see what you think about yourself and people see the results of, how, of what you think of yourself. People see what you attract into your life based on what you think about yourself. And of course, when it comes to pride and being prideful, the double-edged sword of this is if you are an extremely delusional individual. If you are a person that is very prideful yet the majority of your experiences when it comes to dealing with people and the people in your life are negative, then you in fact are an individual that is delusional. You're actually not a sincerely prideful person because when a person has pride and they're very proud, yet they don't have any success in any areas of their lives, of their life, very few successes, they're not progressing, they're not in a good space, mentally, physically, they're in drama constantly. People that have a lot of pride that are by their own admission, not doing, not doing well, they're not, they don't have successes. They have all of these failures, all of these negative experiences, People that are that appear to be prideful in those situations, that is the exception to the have more pride agenda that I'm trying to push right now. The exception to you should have more pride is the person that is not progressing in life. If you are not striving to improve your situation, if you don't have a self-improvement mindset if you don't accept that if you don't embrace that entirely that you need to grow as a man that you need to build yourself up if you don't accept that then you are the individual that miles you should just be humble because you already you already are not on the right track already you're already off track so you already are not progressing as you should be. So the individual that tends to often be the most humble anyway, tends to be the individual that is not progressing in life to begin with. Those tend to be the ones that are the most humble and have the most humility. Those are the types of men in particular, or the types that they are very content in their lack of lack of progression. They are content in not progressing in life. Those are the men that often are the most humble men. And ultimately, it's about you as a man trying to improve your situations and maintain the best situations you can to create the best interactions you can when it comes to people and the people that are part of my life, the people that are part of the lives of men that you would consider, oh, he's more arrogant, he's more prideful. One thing that I notice within my situation is the women in my life, 
they make active efforts to stay on my good side. They actively put in effort to stay on my good side. And you need to ask yourself, why is it that that is not the case for you? If that is not the case for you, why is it that the women in your life, they don't care whether or not they're on your good side or not, or sometimes they, they try and other times they don't care. See, the women in, that are part of my life, they always try to stay on my good side. So ultimately it is about we as men valuing ourselves to the point where we only accept the good that comes our way and we toss out everything else. Assets only, burdens be gone.